we have gathered here for a co-management meet. First of all, let me welcome the President of Panchayat and introduce the various members of this council. I welcome officials from MPEDA, Netfish, Fisheries Department, Scientist, Secretary of Harbour Management Society, President of Board Owners Association, NGO Representative, President of Women's Self-Help Group, and representatives from Seafood Exporters Association, Auctioners Association, Fishermen's Association, Net Makers Association, and Ice Makers Association. Now, let us start with the meeting, and I request you to start with the questions. Thank you, sir. I wish to bring your attention to the issues of overfishing. Nowadays, we are unable to get good catch as more number of boats are coming together to the same habitat. Yes, it's a fact that if more boats do fishing in an area together, it can lead to less catch and moreover it can even destroy a fish habitat. So, it is advisable that only a limited number of boats go for fishing in an area. Yes, I hope everyone agrees to this suggestion. Let us move on to the next question. I would like to remind this council that juvenile fishing is a hazard to the society as a whole. And nowadays, we are getting information that juvenile fishing is practiced in this harbor. Juveniles and adult fishes are the same for us. Both add to our revenue. What is the reason for such restrictions? Juvenile fishes are the resources for the future. Destroying them will lead to scarcity. Yes, that's right. So, what should we do to avoid juveniles being caught? For that, you have to avoid using small mesh nets which are not advised and use only approved 35mm cord and trawl nets through which juveniles can easily escape. Okay, we agree to that. Okay, so now let us move on to the next issue. We are still concerned about the threats of tsunami and sea erosion. We would like to know how to protect our shorelines and coastal areas. Protection of ecosystems like coral reefs, wetlands, mangroves and lagoons are vital. They are rich in biodiversity and protect the shores from cyclones, storms and tsunamis. What all things should we take care when we make new nets and use them? My advice is that while using nets, please use BRD and TED devices in the trawl net so that sea turtles and other protected animals can escape through it. Also, it is advised to make and use fishing nets with a mesh size of 35 mm and above. I hope that your doubts are clear. Yes, yes. Okay, as per the discussions we had, let me conclude the following points we agreed upon. First, we will take measures to reduce fishing fleet to avoid overfishing. Second, it is decided that by using trawl nets with 35 mm mesh sized cordants and above, we will save juvenile fishers for our own good future. Third, as a public representative, I will recommend the government to protect our coastal areas by planting mangroves. Fourth, we should make sure that we use BRD and TED devices in nets. In addition to this, I suggest all of you to discourage night trawling. Let us ensure that all the decisions taken in this meeting are implemented properly.